Hi, my name is Pat, and this is my channel, Book Chat with Pat. I'm glad that you're here. Today, I would like to do the How Do We Rate Our Books booktube tag. I was tagged by Farah at Bookstalgic, uh, and, th and this tag was created by Emily at Novell Novels. So here we go. Number one, how often do you DNF and what makes you DNF? So I don't DNF very often. Um, and if I do, it's probably because I'm having trouble getting into, into the book. Um, I guess on rare occasions, I have DNF'd a book simply because, you know, however many pages I got into it, I, I have really felt that the writing is, is just not good and that it's, it's not, not going to get better. But that happens very, very infrequently. Um, I often think that if a book isn't catching my attention um, in the moment that, um, you know, maybe I'll just come back to it at, at another time. I tend to put, I put the onus on, on me. Um, okay, next question. Do you rate books one star? Um, no, I don't rate books one star. I am not on Goodreads, um, so my rating system, and I do have one, um, but it's more for myself. Um, but I would never give a book that I have actually finished um, a, one, a one star. Um, I, I probably, I mean, if a book was going in that direction, that would probably be one that I would have abandoned, you know, before, before a one star would, would happen. I guess I think that, you know, it is an accomplishment to, to write a book. Um, so I can usually find um, something good to say about a book that, that I've finished. Uh, <clears throat> and I think maybe that's, that's the, the, the teacher in me, that I can always find something encouraging, something constructive to say about, about a piece of writing. And even if the, the rating system is just for myself, I, I, I tend to find something, something positive that, that I can say. Um, what is a two-star book to you? A two-star book, I would say, um, has pedestrian writing. Um, if we're talking about novels, um, weak character development, um, and and it just isn't isn't holding my interest. And I don't have a lot of two-star books either. Um, is a three-star book a good book for you? Yes, three stars is good. It's not great. Um, it, it probably means that, you know, it's, it's okay, but it's not maybe a memorable book, you know, not something, and definitely not something that I would um, come back to. Um, the next question is, what does four stars mean to you? In my own rating system, lots and lots of my books are, are four star. Um, a four-star book is a terrific book. It's a book with um, intriguing writing, or an intriguing writing style, a complex plot, um, and excellent character development. If I rated a book in my own reading journal as, as a four-star book, this is a book that I am most likely recommending to others to read as well. Um, okay, next question. Do you ever do half star ratings. Um, if I were on Goodreads, I definitely would have, have a half star rating as well. Um, in my own reading journal, uh, I do not. I do not. Um, I don't have half stars. Uh, next question. Do you rate books five stars often? And what do five-star books do to make them rate that high? I do. Um, part of this is that I read a lot of classics, um, and, and most of them, most, not all, but most of them are, are five-star books in, in my eyes. Um, they've lasted a long time to become classics um, for a reason. Uh, but I also have a lot of five-star modern contemporary 
uh, novels in my reading journal um, as as well. Um, I, I'm finding myself, you know, when I was looking at this question, I, I was finding myself thinking about um, Holden Caulfield in in the in the Catcher in the Rye. Um, and he calls himself early on in the novel. He calls himself illiterate. He says, "I'm basically illiterate," you know, but he's not illiterate, and and he's an avid reader. Uh, and in this early novel, uh, early chapter of the novel, he's talking about how when he finishes a book, you know, he knows it was a great book if he wants to call up the author, if he wishes that the author were a friend of his that he could call up and 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 chat with. And and I've I've always loved that. Um, I, I guess because it it. Um, it, it speaks to me somehow, that really resonates with me. I tend to, you know, when I find an author that I love, um, I, I tend to, um, you know, do a real a deep dive into that author. And I learn everything I can learn about the author's life. And I try to read everything that the author has, has written. Um, uh, I think this is what you know Brian over at Bookish calls you know becoming uh, a fanboy. Um, I guess I become a fan a fan girl, um, but I do I do these deep dives into authors that that I um, that I really uh, that I really love. So you know my five star authors and even some of my four star authors. Um, so five stars to me means that the book has an elegant writing style, that it has a complex plot, um, that the characters are powerfully drawn, um, and, and that the book deals with important themes. Uh, that, you know, it has an, an important or many important messages to, to get across. Um, a five-star book to me creates um, it creates a world that I can enter into and, and get lost in. Um, and after I'm finished reading um, such, such a novel, I find that I'm still thinking about the characters and I'm still thinking about the themes long after I've, I've finished reading the, the book. Okay, the next question is, how has your rating of books changed over the years? Um, it has definitely changed. I think that I have become more judicious in terms of you know what I decide to read um, as I've aged, um, and and maybe that's why I don't DNF a lot um, because I I'm, I'm careful about what I what what I pick. Um, but I also, when I was younger, I wouldn't DNF a book. If I started a book, I had to finish the book. Um, and so I give myself a break now. You know, if it's really not working for me, I, I, can, I can stop. I can move on to, to, to something else. I no longer feel that I have to finish every book that I, that I, um, that I start. Um, okay, next question is, where do you record your ratings of your books? Well, as I said, I'm not on Goodreads. Um, uh, I think that would, for me, would just become another thing that I would become obsessive about. Um, so, so for me, it's enough um, that I, I keep a very detailed journal about, about my reading and I, I, um, I record you know, details about about everything that I read um, and my all my thoughts and feelings about the book um, as as well. Um, for me, th this is a meaningful practice. Um, I like to think about what I've what I've read. I like to write about what what I've um, what I've been reading. Um, so, you know, my my reading journal is really um, uh, a good. Um, written recording of my of my reading uh, of my reading journey. Um, nobody else sees it. I don't know if anybody else ever will. For now, it's it's just my you know my private reading journal. Okay, and those are the questions for this tag. So now I'm going to tag um, several other people. Um, 
I am tagging uh, read and reread. I'm tagging Rainer reads stuff. I'm tagging elder talk. I'm tagging genre books at genre books 23. Um, I am tagging Kindles and Kicks. Um, another bibliophile reads. Uh, the Grape Jelly Library. Marilyn Maya Mendoza. Uh, Britta Bowler at Britta Bowler, The Second Shelf. Um, Quaint and Curious Volumes. Uh, Bookish at the Bookish Texan. Um, and uh, Great Books, Big Ideas at Great Books, Big Ideas. And I'd like to tag anybody else who's watching this video who would like to do this tag. Um, I, think it was, I think it was really fun and I will look forward to, to seeing your answers. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, I hope that you're doing well. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.